Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve example 4.4 from Nielsen and Riddle book. This is about node voltage analysis with dependent sources. So the question is use the node voltage method to find the power dissipated in the 5 ohm resistor in circuit shown in the figure. Okay, we have this figure here. And first, maybe let's set our bottommost node here as our ground here. Okay. And let's name this node here as node A. And this node here as node B. Okay. And here we have 8 I phi. 8 I phi. Because this is 8 I phi from the ground. And this is 20 volt from the ground. So we have 20 here. And now we can assume the direction of the current. Maybe this is going to the right. This is going to bottom. This is going to the right. This is going to the bottom. And this is also going to the right. Okay. Now let's do KCL at not A and then KCL at not B. Okay. First maybe do KCL at not A. KCL at not A. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay. The current that goes in is this one here. But we can calculate that using Ohm's law, which is 20 minus Pa divided by 2 ohm. Okay. And all the other currents is going out, so we can put the equal sign here. Now we will have Pa minus 0 divided by 20. So I will have Pa divided by 20. And then... For this one here, we can have plus Va minus Vb divided by phi. Alright. Okay, maybe we can multiply both sides by 20 to get rid of all the denominator. Okay, now we get this as 10. So I will have 200 and then minus. 10 PA. Okay. 20 and 20 will cancel each other. So we'll have PA. And then for that one, 5 and 20 will cancel into 4. So we'll have 4 PA minus 4 VB. Okay. And so we will have 15 PA minus 4 VB. So I will have 15 PA minus 4 VB. And that will equal to 200. Okay. And I think we cannot do nothing more here. We can do anything more. So let's have this as equation number one. Okay. Now let's do another KCL. But this time at node B. So we'll have KCL at node B. Okay. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out okay the only current that goes in is this one here so we'll have pa minus vb divided by 5 and this current is going out and this also going out this current here is vb minus 0 that will be vb divided by 10 and then plus, we will have Vb minus a I phi. So I will have Vb minus this voltage here. That will be 8 I phi. So I will have 8 I phi divided by 2. And here I think we can multiply the all of them by 10 to get rid of the denominator so we will have this one will be 2 va 2 va minus 2 vb and then we will have vb over 10 and 10 will cancel each other so we'll have vb and then plus we will have 5 vb 
and then minus 8 multiplied by 5 that will be 40 40 i5 however i5 is this current here which is va minus vb divided by 5 okay maybe let's plug that in so we'll have 2 va minus 2 vb is equal to vb plus 5 vb and then minus 40 this one will be va minus vb divided by 5 okay and that 5 will cancel into 8 right okay i think let's continue on this space here so we will have 2 va minus 2 vb and then that will equal to i think i can add them up right so i'll have 6 vb and then this one i will have minus 8 va and then minus 8 multiplied by minus vb will have plus 8 vb okay and so we will have 10 va Okay, we will have 10 VA and then that will be 14. I will have minus, minus 2 and then minus 6, minus 8, minus 8, minus 8, minus 16 VB. And that will equal to 0. Okay, this is equation number 2. So I have two equation and two variables. Maybe let's clean this up and just leave the two equation. Okay, let's clean the slide first. Okay, now we have two equation and two variables. We can solve this using calculator. So let's set up and the equation solver is number five and we will have number one. We will have 15 and then minus four and then we will have 200. Okay, then we will have 10 and then minus 16 and then zero. Can we get VA is equal to 16? Okay. VA is equal to 16. I think a nice number. So 16 volt here. And then what is VB? Where is my calculator? Okay, VB is 10 volt. Okay, VB is 10 volt. Okay, now we can calculate the power. Remember the power. We can calculate it by V squared, but the voltage is between A and B. VAB squared divided by R. Okay, and what is VAB? That is VA minus VB, right? So I'll have 16 minus 10 squared divided by 5. So we will have this will be 6, 6 squared, we will have 36 divided by 5, and that will be 7.21. And I think that's all for this example. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.